traffic jams, crashes, delays. These are the most common problems car users face in cities all around the world. Optimizations in traffic control are widely sought after. However, no perfect solution has been found yet. There were huge improvements in artificial intelligence over the past years. This technology could help improve traffic conditions in our cities. But what exactly can AI bring into traffic control? Firstly, we have the presentation of the uses of AI in traffic control. AI learns, compares, remembers, and then works out a solution to execute it at last. It can manage traffic lights, lanes direction, and arrivals and departure to and from a city. It can create real-time alternative routes for GPSs while adapting to unexpected situations like crashes. All of these uses lead to better traffic flow, less congestion, time in traffic, or distance traveled for drivers. In turn, multiple benefits are observed in various domains, namely security, economics and logistics, and environment. But to use information, we first need to collect it. For an AI-driven traffic regulation, we need a proper data collection network. However, this represents large infrastructural and technical challenges. Currently, common forms of road data collection provide insufficient data for an AI to process. Therefore, for an effective AI model, we need to provide information that matches the AI input more closely. However, with more extensive data collection comes in the question of consent. The ownership of that data is also really important to consider. The people who could lay claim to the data are, for example, the creator, the funder, the purchaser. That owner could distribute and transfer that data massively, which could lead to consequences such as theft, loss, and alterations. Another question we should ask ourselves is, would every person have to consent by default to data collection if they were to use the AI roads of the future? With data collection, there is raising concern about security and privacy. We are much more vulnerable to privacy breaches from cyber attacks, companies and the government. PricewaterhouseCoopers made a survey in which they collected information on how do people feel about their data protection and can businesses be trusted to handle the customer's data. The most important statistic is that 85% of consumers will not consent to data collection if their privacy isn't guaranteed. So, Gaining the trust of the population is crucial for the advancement of AI in traffic systems. So, how will companies act to set regulations and policies that will make the people feel more secure about their privacy? On another subject, when we make use of AI, there is an important trade-off to take into consideration. Co-transparency against the ability to solve complex problems. In AI, some algorithms are referred to as black box algorithms for which we cannot exactly know how they process information and make decisions. Examples are the neural networks, deep learning algorithms. Black box algorithms work by learning a set of parameters which yield the optimal solution. So they don't necessarily follow any logical steps to solve the problem. And there are numerous implications to this. Firstly, uh, our ability to fix the functionality of the algorithm is constrained. Secondly, End users of softwares that run on non-transparent code might find it hard to trust it and yield control to it. And lastly, when a problem occurs, it might be difficult to determine why it did so and who is responsible for it. So now we may ask ourselves, to what extent is AI really more efficient? AI systems are more efficient. In 2018, researchers at the Chinese Academy of Science developed a deep learning model for traffic line management and compared it in simulations to fixed time and vehicle actuated controllers. In general, their model proved more efficient in most situations. Except in very low traffic, the AI system was al always more efficient. It reached up to 50% improvements in waiting times and 20% in vehicles reaching their destination. The AI also showed he was able to, to adapt to different situations. But this is a very synthetic result, only done through simulations. It also didn't take into account new data sources, such as camera or phone data. But is this a conceivable outcome for the future? Traffic recognition and prediction have already been applied in private initiatives. They are widely used as they reduce travel time and propose alternative routes. On the other hand, sometimes, 
Users are not aware that they, their data is being used for these purposes. So we can now see that the questions and problems we have highlighted are becoming real. Privacy, of course, but also new forms of data and the black box problem. However, overall, the use of smart and adaptive traffic lights would accommodate changing conditions and unexpected situations. And a more efficient traffic flow would mean reduced environmental and economical impacts, and therefore, a better future. Thank you for your attention.